Hey guys, today we will see how join works in Click Click View on ClickSense. So I have got the sample uh, data set with list of product and product IDs. I have got ten different products, and I have got one more table with sales corresponding to each product. And I, and if you could see, I have got sales for only few products, right? So here I had uh, ten different products, whereas here I have got sales for only few. Uh, and you could also notice I have additional products as well over here, product 11 and 12, which is not there in my uh, this table, right? So I have this two sample uh, uh, tables. Let's understand the uh, join concept with the help of these two tables. So I I'm going to pull this uh, data into ClickSense. So I have this library connection already created. So let me add this tables from the excel so i have my data in sheet uh, one and two these two sheets okay so let me give some name to this so let's start with um, a left join between these two tables okay so as you could see <coughs> this is my uh, left table and i'm going to do a left join with this table based on the product id which is the common key over here so ideally how left join works is you will get all the records from the left table and only the matching record from the right table so so whatever product ids has got a match over here and you will get only the sales from for those product ids that's how left join works so let's try this so i'm saying left join this is a keyword followed by the actual table name right product details is my table name so that means my following table this table is going to be left joined with this table right this is this is named as product details so i'm saying do a left join with this table so basically the second table is will be left joined with the first table uh, and since we already have this common field in these two tables click will automatically do a left join based on this field if not then we have to give an alias name rename it so so that the name matches right and we also have to make sure there is no other column with similar names so here the names are different and if there are similar names and we have to rename that as well uh, to avoid a composite key join right so join happening on multiple columns so make sure there is only one common field between these two tables before a, before a join is applied. So now let's quickly reload this. Let us visualize it in the <coughs> data model layer. Okay, so we could see a single table called product details with all three columns so the product id and product comes from the first table you could see 10 uh, ids and 10 products but the sales you could see only for 1 2 and 8 9 10 right so because that is what we had in the second table so only the matching sales were pulled in and all others were blank right so this is how left join works let me replace that with a right join <clears throat> okay so now you could see all the products coming from the right table so 1 2 8 9 10 11 12 right so this is what we have in this table 1 2 8 9 10 11 12 with all these sales but this 11 and 12 we don't have any uh, data in the uh, left side table right so these are all the additional records we had in the right side table so so we don't see any matching products for those but we have got all the records from the right table and only the matching products from the left table so now let's try inner join So the way inner join works is 
it looks for only the matching uh, records between these two uh, tables okay so whatever id has got a match over here only those records will be pulled so in this case we have 1 2 8 9 10 which has got a match over here right and all other uh, rows will be skipped okay so let's quickly reload this we'll have a look now you could see only the matching records are pulled in right so this is how inner join works so the additional 11 and 12 or the record product id from first table which uh, doesn't have a match in the second table everything else is skipped only those product id which has present in both the tables are populated here right so that's inner join and there is one more called outer join so in click when you don't specify anything if you, when you simply say join that means it's an outer join by default right so what outer join does is it brings in fields from all the tables from both left and right so let's quickly reload this let's visualize it so here if you could see i'm I have product ID 1 to 10 from the left table coming up and 11 to 12 which we had in the right table that is also present over here and I could see all the sales coming here and the blank product so basically it's an outer join between both the tables right I see all the records coming from uh, both the tables so I see total 12 product IDs present over here so this is outer join by default click does an outer join uh, you, and you don't have specify uh, I mean outer keyword is an optional over here if, even if you don't specify a simple join means an outer over here so hope we are clear with the concepts of join and click please do let me know in the comment section if there are any clarifications thanks for watching